Now, now the news Sudan's civil war between the Sudanese armed forces and the rapid support forces is fast becoming a war that the world has forgotten. With the focus shifting to Ukraine and Gaza, do not miss this UN finding, however, that at least 14 million in Sudan children need assistance or support. It has been 10 months since war erupted between the Sudanese armed forces and the rapid support forces. The war has claimed nearly 15,000 lives, displacing over 6 million people inside the country. More than a million people have fled abroad, mostly to neighboring Chad and Egypt. And several ceasefire agreements brokered by Saudi and U.S. mediators have failed to end the violence. According to the Sudan Situation Report published by the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, about 25 million people, including 14 million children, need humanitarian assistance and support. Sudan is facing one of the world's fastest unfolding crises amid the conflict between the SAF and the RSF. About 65% of Sudan's population lack access to health care, while 70 to 80 percent of hospitals in conflict affected areas are no longer functional. According to the UN report, around 10,500 suspected cases of cholera, including 292 deaths, have been reported from nine Sudanese states as of January 27th. With multiple disease outbreaks posing a growing threat in several states, including 4,650 cases of measles with 106 deaths, malaria and also dengue fever. The World Food Programme has warned that the ongoing crisis in Sudan is causing thousands of families to be displaced to Chad and South Sudan weekly. WFP says most people are trapped in areas of active fighting, where aid agencies are struggling to maintain consistent access. People are leaving Sudan, fleeing Sudan because of the war, because of the conflict, and they're ending up here, where WFP and other agencies are providing basic support but it's, it's an extraordinarily challenging circumstance. Meanwhile, Pope Francis has appealed to Sudan's warring factions to put an end to the conflict that has seen millions displaced and prompted warnings of a severe famine. 